Welcome back. It is now time for Ask the Expert. In two weeks, the Milwaukee Film Festival be begins, and one of the highlights of the three-week event is the Black Lens Film Series. So joining us live this afternoon to tell us more about the features and the documentaries chosen for this year's run is Gerard Blanks. And so how did you go about choosing these films? Well, I work with uh, my co-programmer, Dante McFadden, and we scour the country, the universe. I mean, we go through websites. We actually travel to other film festivals. We do our homework. And then we compile hundreds of films. That many? Well, we don't watch all of them. No, there's a lot out there. <laughs> yeah, oh, there, yeah, there are a lot of really good films out there, but we narrow it down. It's tough work, but uh -huh. you know, somebody's gotta watch movies. Yeah. Somebody's gotta do it, right? Yeah, do you absolutely. get popcorn with this? Uh, no, but I mean, there are other great perks. There are other <laughs> great perks. I mean, hey, it's a fun job. Sure. I can't complain. Oh, not right? at all. And you have um, a number of films that you're featuring, but one has a real local connection. Um, Let It Fall. Yes. Let's talk about that. That's the documentary by John Ridley. A lot of people know he mm -hmm. is a Milwaukee native, an Academy Award winner. Uh, he has one of the best documentaries on the L.A. riots that you will ever see. Uh, we screened it earlier in the year for members of Milwaukee Film Festival members, and we brought it back as a part of Black Lens because we want to make sure everybody sees this film. It's extraordinary. So you talk documentary. So does it start from 1992 or does it go backward? Actually, it goes backward. Yeah. Good one. So it goes backward, and it sort of gives you, um, it sort of builds, and, and yeah. it, it helps you to understand what led to the riots, mm. which is important, yeah. right? And it goes through, and then it's about 10 about years, that. a decade, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I mean, what's extraordinary about this film is the way that it captures all of the different things that were mm. sort of simmering under the surface right. and how they came to a boil. So if you think you know the story, you oh. may be surprised how much of the story you right. don't know. And that, there are a number of films that are like that in your I series. Was you beat me to it, <laughs> exactly, yeah. I mean, there are so many films. We have a film called Tell Them We Are Rising about historically black colleges and universities. Trust me, when you learn the history of how HBCUs got started, mm -hmm. uh, you, you'll wanna go and read some books. Sounds good. Yeah. So one of the big, big announcements that you released yesterday is that it will be 20 years since Love Jones was mm. first uh, released. Uh, and it is a love story for anyone who loves love stories. It's like Harry Met Sally. Mm -hmm. It's right in that same kind of vein. What is great about this film and why are you guys bringing it back? We're bringing it back because it is the 20th anniversary and because we have a very special guest, uh, the star of Love Jones, Mr. Lorenz Tate. Who? You might know him from Power or Girls mm -hmm. Trip. He is going to be here. So that's one of the reasons, that's a big reason <laughs> yeah, why we're bringing it back. But also because it was so important for its time. Mm -hmm. You know, it showed African-American men and women in love and romance and culture and art and things during the mid 90s we weren't seeing a lot of. So it was like film. the it was like the predecessor to Insecure. Oh, oh, absolutely. Right. I, I think I think if you act, uh, ask a lot of black filmmakers and actors, they'll tell you that Love Jones was a huge inspiration for them. So Gerard, we know that these tickets can go fast. Can mm -hmm. people still get tickets to these films? Glad you asked. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay, good. But I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Don't what? wait. No, yeah. Don't wait. But the big thing I also want to uh, make note of is this This is a film festival for everyone. You just don't have to be interested in the black experience. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, Black Lens is all about bringing African-American filmmakers from around the country, around the world, to Milwaukee, exposing them to Milwaukee and exposing Milwaukee to them. Trust me, everybody is going to find something for Sure. Yeah. I love it. Thank you for coming in Thanks sharing that. All right, have a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We do have a number right there for you.